Hello? Hey, Will. I got some news for you about the case we talked about the other day. Mind if I come over? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, when will you be here? I can come right away. Uh, you know what? Uh, can you give me an hour, Jack? Sure thing. I'll see you then. Alright. See you then. Come here, Maxie. Hey, Jack, come on in. Hey, hey, how's my favorite girl doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, so we gonna do this or what? Yeah, let's go. Come on, Max. Do you want anything to drink? No, I'm good, thanks. Alrighty. Go. Let me know if you change your mind. I will. Could you get the light behind you? There we go, perfect. All right, let's do this. Ready when you are. There have been some new developments in the coordinate killer case. That's what we're calling it? Not my idea. <laughs> anyway, forensics just confirmed that we officially have a serial killer on our hands. Mm. The third body we found the other day was in fact killed by the same guy as the other two. Shot multiple times and then stabbed through the heart. Is this one male or female? Male. So he's alternating. Very good. But there's a key difference between the male and female victims. What's that? The males were each shot multiple times, but not fatally. It was the stab in the heart that actually killed them. While the one female we found was killed by a gunshot, and then shot several more times and stabbed in the heart post-mortem. So the male victims are more personal to him and the female killings he wanted to be quick and easy. That's our working theory. Wait, are we sure it wasn't an accident? You know, a fatal shot by mistake? We only have one female, so it's too soon to tell. And you don't think it's a copycat? No, we kept that part about the stabbing out of the media. Mm. Now here's the really interesting thing. As you know, each victim was married, and it was their loved one who found their body. Ask me why. Why? Because each of them received one of these. Are these coordinates? Yes, but this is just a copy. Three victims, three cards. Each card was slipped under the front door of the victims' houses for their loved ones to find. We tested the blood on each of the cards. It's a perfect match to the victims. That's awful. Do you think you could get me the names of the victims' loved ones? I'd love to get their side of the story. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Well, is that it? The other thing we can be sure of is that he waits a week in between kills. So that means we only have a few more days before we find another body. Well, thank you for your time. Anything for an old friend. I'll see you out. All right. Now, I've come to you first with this, so you better make me look good. I will. Thanks for everything. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna try. Whoa, Max! <sighs> uh, go on and get out of here. I got her. You sure? Yeah. All right, I'll see you around. Take care. Let's go get my shoes. Max! Max! Oh, come on, girl. I'm just gonna kill me if I don't bring you home. Uh, hi. That's my dog. Yeah? What's her name? Max. It was my wife's idea, short for Maxine. Can I have my dog back? Why don't I give you two a ride home? Oh, no, that, that's okay. We, we live right down the way. Even better, I live right down there. It's, it's okay, really. Well, Max. It's fine, you don't have to do that. All right. You coming? Uh, I guess so.
Hey, Em. Look who I found. Who was that? Oh, him. You know, I didn't catch his name. So you took a ride from a stranger? He said he lived nearby. I, I'm sure I've seen him around town. Okay. Well, come in, wash up. Dinner's almost ready. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Work. Remember our honeymoon? Yes. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Why? You remember the first day we were there when it was pouring rain and we decided to go out anyway? <laughs> yeah, and we're the only people on that beach. <laughs> <laughs> I just love thinking about how you and I had the best time with the worst weather. You know, I, there's nobody who I'd rather spend that with. Anyway, what I was thinking was we've both been really busy lately and we haven't gone away since our honeymoon. So I was thinking maybe you and I set a week aside and just get away. Really? Oh my God, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'll talk to my boss on Monday and I'll get some time off. But what about you? Are you gonna be able to get time off? Honey, I'm a self-employed internet reporter. I have barely 5,000 followers and I promise you none of them are gonna miss me for a week. But what about that case that you and Jack have been working on? I already started it and I was going to finish the write-up later on. You know, the thing is, you know how slow those things go, so... So, we're going to do this? We're going to do this. Good morning. Hey. Any plans today? I'm just going to finish up this write-up from my meeting with Jack yesterday. But, it's Saturday. Can't you take the day off? I mean, I could, but my 5,000 followers would miss me. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this done today so we can have all day tomorrow. Sound good? Alright. Hmm. That's weird. It's work. I'll be right back. Right. Hello? What? You're kidding. I'll, I'll be right there. What's up? We were just hacked. Oh. I have to go to work. Oh, but it's Saturday. That's not funny. Th this is serious. All right. uh, I don't know when I'll be home, but I'll let you know, okay? All right. Have a good day. be getting out of here. This is pretty bad. I'll call you to update you soon. Hey honey, I'm all done. Just gonna run over the store quick. Give me a call if you need anything. I love you. See you soon. Hey Em, sorry I missed your calls. Glad they finally let you out. I was just wondering where you are. You've been gone for a while and I haven't heard from you. Give me a call back when you get this, all right? I love you. Bye. Hey. 
Hey, call number four. I'm trying not to worry. Please, just call me back. She's okay. She's okay. Emily? Em, are you home? Hello? Hi, Will? Yeah? Hi, this is Alice Garner. You called me a few days ago wanting to interview me about my husband. Oh, 
Oh, Alice, th thank you so much for being the one to call me back. I'm the first one? Yeah, I, I've reached out to all the others, and, you know, there's only three... There's only four so far, and I feel as though once they hear your interview, they'd be more willing to open up. Well, it's been almost a month now since Alan passed, so I think it's time I talk about it. Good, wonderful. Then I'll see you soon. Thank you. Okay, could you please state your name for me and then spell it out? Sure, my name is Alice Garner, A-L-I-C-E-G-A-R-N-E-R. -E -E Great, so I'm just going to let the camera roll. You tell me your story. Okay, where should I start? Wherever you want. Okay, it was December 31st, New Year's Eve. Alan had a corporate party to go to the night before, so I was expecting him to get home late. I went to bed, I fell asleep, I woke up the next morning and he still wasn't home. I tried to stay calm, hoping that maybe he just forgot to tell me that he was spending the night. I checked my phone and I didn't have any missed calls. I tried his phone and it went right to voicemail. Then I went downstairs and I found this slipped under the door. I had no idea what this was. There had only been one other victim up until this point, and the police weren't telling the media much. But when I followed these coordinates, what I found? No one should know that pain. And now they're thrown on terms like serial killer? Where's it gonna stop? I'm sorry. I, I think I've heard enough. Thank you for coming. I'll walk you out. Look who I found. All right, Just come on in. What are you doing here? I saw Max on the side of the road, so I figured I'd do you a favor. Why? Well, I know what you're going through. With your wife. Let's sit down. All right. Wait. How did you know? You posted about it. You follow me? I try and support all members of the community. You know, I went through something very similar. No, but I, uh... I don't think so. It was Christmas Eve. My wife and I were in the city seeing a show. We, uh, th the show ended and we left. We were walking down the street when down an alley I heard a scream. I quickly turned and saw some lady being held at gunpoint getting mugged. 
Without thinking, I ran down the alley to help her. Only I didn't realize it was a setup. She wasn't actually getting mugged. Before I knew it, I was being held at gunpoint, and they're both screaming at me, give me your money, I'm going to shoot you. I stayed as calm as I could, but my wife. She came running down the alley after me. Now she was trying to save me, but the guy must have gotten spooked, and like in slow motion, I watched him turn and pull the trigger. I couldn't believe it. How could I have been so stupid? But, but it was too late. The, the guy and his girlfriend ran away, and I was left holding my wife as she bled to death in my arms. You know what you said to me? I thought I could save you. Not a day goes by that I don't wish that I was the one who went in on her. I'm so sorry. No, nah, I'm sorry. You're going through this too. Right, but I don't have some heroic story about how I was trying to save the day. You know how it happened to me? She left and never came back. I missed her calls and I didn't even have the decency to call her back. Not until it was too late. Some world we live in. Yeah, some world. Hey, at least we're in it together. Oh, I've got somewhere to be. See you later, Will.
Max? What happened to you? Here, something I want to show you. Look. Him? Emily? You're gonna scare her off. Well. Great. You scared her off. Well? Max? Well. Where am I? You're in my house. I don't know where you live. Yeah, you do. You were here for dinner the other night. No. I, I think I would remember that. You really don't remember? Do you remember me bringing Max over? What about later when I invited you to dinner? Oh. <sighs> Bray, sit down. Let me get you some water. Okay. Wade. I do remember you coming back. You beat the crap out of me. No, I didn't. Yes. Yes, you did. That never happened. Here. Drink. Do you know why I'm here? Well, I did ask you to come over Saturday afternoon. It's a little early yet. Why? Well, while you were over for dinner, we got talking about how we were coping with the death of our wives. Well, you really don't remember. Well, I told you to come Saturday and I'd show you. Really? Yeah, well. I want to help. Jesus Christ, are you taking a nap? No. This is my garage. It was your idea to come here. Right, yeah. Come on, we'll sit up. Jesus Christ, who is that? Don't tell me you don't remember. You're the one they've been calling the coordinate killer. Wow, Will. Great job putting that together for the second time. What are you going to do, Will? Shoot me? Come on, try it. See what happens. You killed my wife? You killed my wife? Yeah, I did. That didn't seem to bother you before. It almost seemed to make you more eager to help. But don't shoot me. Shoot him. Just what I thought. Come sit down. All of this, it means that there's a part of me that's okay with what you've done. What you're doing? Yeah, I guess. And I want to talk to him. Not you. I want you to go back into the truck and fall asleep or whatever it is you need to do. 
because I need the other guy. No. Why are you doing this? In general? Because I'm good at it. When I got the guy that killed my wife, I felt so good. I just wanted to feel that way again. So I kept doing it. That's why he's here. I wanted you to know the feeling. Let you get some of that anger out. Why me? Because I like you, Will. I saw that you were seriously struggling with the loss. I wanted to help. What? You think that this will make up for what you did? No. But why, Emily? Why did you take her from me? Because she was easy. I followed her to the food store. She was alone in the parking lot. Oh, here he comes. What? The other guy. I can see him coming out in there. She was calm at first. She begged me to let her go. Told me she wouldn't say anything or tell anyone who I was. But I didn't care and she realized that. That's when she got mad. She even almost got away. There you go, Will. Let it out. Get your revenge. be right there. Hey honey, I'm all done. Just gonna run over the store quick. Give me a call if you need anything. I love you. See you soon. Hey, Will. You all right? I had the dream where it was me again. When is this gonna stop? We're getting closer. I got a pretty good feeling about this one. He's getting sloppy. So what did happen here? Where is everybody? We got a call from a jogger out on her run this morning. That's odd. I know, I got here pretty quickly. I wanted to give you a minute to do your thing before everyone else got here. Thanks, Jack. Hey, Jack. What have I done? 